We do a great job of training to go to war. We don't really spend much time training to come home. And that's really what we decided to do with Vantage Point. Because I know that given the right training and support, the same folks that did you know, really accomplished, really complex tasks and austere conditions overseas, they're gonna be able to do it here. But we just gotta figure out, we had to figure out what does that training look like? And that's turned into the Vantage Point Transition Program. My transition from military life to civilian life has been the scariest thing that I have ever endured. And I've had some scary moments in my life. One day I was asked by a fellow veteran, he came over to the house and he saw I was not doing well. And uh, he asked me to meet with Mark Holyfield and Kim Bradley. I reluctantly went to that lunch, but it changed my life and it changed my children's lives. I'm able to stand here in front of you and brag about how far I've come. And in closing, I will say thank you for your support for such a great cause and I hope you enjoy this evening. Our executive director, myself and the board had talked about trying to come up with a, a way to raise money and community awareness and have a good time. So Mark Holyfield called me up one day and said, Chuck, why don't I get four Hall of Fame songwriters from Nashville to come and perform an event for us with dinner, telling stories about the songs they wrote, singing those songs, and just a general entertainment evening. I said, do it. That was better. <laughs> Come all the way from Nashville, Tennessee to honor Vantage Point, to uh, sing some songs, and some good people are being very generous and raising some money for a great cause. It took about 20 seconds to make the decision to come here, and, and we're all, like I said, we're all pals here. We don't get to do this with the, this group very much. It's been a great deal, and I'm proud to be down here and be a part. All our guys came from Nashville. I've just had a chance in the break here to visit with some of the uh, uh, fellas who've been through the program and, and now have become mentors in their own right. And it's uh, it's really a splendid situation. I, I hope it just grows and grows and maybe it'll go national, you know, it should. Mm -hmm.